don't feel too badly, Joe. You still got me. I'm not good for much, I know, but... I'll stand by you all the days of my life. I know you will. You don't know what a comfort you are to me, Laurie. Joe, will you listen to what I want to tell you? No, Laurie. Don't say it. Oh, I will, and you must hear me. It's no use, Joe. We've got to have it out, and the sooner the better for both of us. Say what you like, then. I'll listen. I've loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. Couldn't help it. I've tried to show you, but you wouldn't let me. Now I'm going to make you hear and give me an answer. I wanted to save you this, Laurie. I never wanted you to care for me, so I... I tried to keep you from it when I could. And I only loved you more for it. Oh, I know I'm not good enough for you, Joe, but... Well, if you love me, you can make me anything you like. Oh, Laurie, I wouldn't change you. You should marry a lovely, accomplished girl who adores you. Someone who would grace your beautiful home and give you the sort of life you really want. I wouldn't. I loathe elegant society, and you hate my scribbling, and I can't get on without it. I know we would quarrel. No, we wouldn't. We always have, you know. And everything would be horrid if we were ever foolish enough to... Marry? Oh, no, it wouldn't, Joe. It'd be heaven. Besides, everyone expects it. Grandfather has his heart set on it. So don't disappoint us. Oh, I... I just can't go on without you, Joe. Oh, Lori. Lori, I'm so sorry. So desperately sorry. But I can't say I love you when I don't. Really and truly, Joe. Really and truly, Laurie. I don't think I'll ever marry. Oh, yes, you will. I know you will. Someday you'll change, you'll meet some good-for-nothing, no-account fool, and you'll fall in love with him and work and live and die for him. I know you will because it's just your way. And I'll have to stand by and see it. Well, I'll be hanged if I do.